What's up guys? So I'm here to review John Wick, um, directed by Chad Stahelski and David Leach, starring Keanu Reeves as John Wick himself. And um, pretty much what this story is, is about a retired assassin who gets brought back to the fold because some jerk decides that he wants to take his car and, and uh, kill his puppy. Um, long story short, John Wick goes full throttle to get his revenge. And um, it's a pretty, it's, it sounds like a pretty simple story, but the action is what makes it so complex and deep and, and, and makes it worth the watch. So I remember seeing the trailers for this film and sort of like having low expectations. I almost thought that this was going to be like, just like those other action films, I almost thought that this was going to be forgettable. It looked like a fun ride. It looked interesting. Keanu Reeves looked badass. For the most part, it didn't look like it was going to be anything special. So watch it when I, I remember watching it in the theater and having, don't ha not having too high of a expectations. That being said, after watching the film and uh, seeing it a couple more, seeing it like one more time, um, the film still holds up and the action is just, it's out of this world. I mean, you know, Keanu Reeves like to call it or label it as calling, saying it's gun fu. So it's pretty much his way of like mixing in his um, martial arts with the with the with the guns and the and, you know mixing in traditional um, ways of fighting in with a gun and it's just it's a beauty to watch because if you're a fan of 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 90s 80s even back even if you want to go way farther than back action like classic action movies then you're gonna love John Wick. John Wick pays homage to all those films. It does a great job of not hiding anything. It shows you in full cinematography, in the full use of their cinematography, the scope of the action sequences. And it's just, it's just a blast to watch. They are choreographed so well. John, Keanu Reeves is pretty much doing most of his stunts. So there's no hiding that. There's no shaky camera involved, which I love. I'm a, I'm a huge, 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 huge hater for shaky cam. I feel like it's, it's, it's a, it's a tactic used. It's an, ex, it's a tactic used that's really kind of slop that feels sloppy. And it's kind of annoying as a viewer to see that because, um, you know, a lot of directors and a lot of, uh, makers say that the shaky cam sort of makes it feel more realistic as if you're in the action, the heat of the moment, but some, but I disagree. And John Wick does not use any shaky cam at all. It lets you see everything. It's it's beautifully shot. The cinematography is wonderful to look at. And um, the action, I mean, the action is top notch. I mean, the director, uh, Chad Stahelski, um, the other one's David Leach, but they, they got up in, um, they, they pretty much worked their way up from uh, stunt choreography, stunt work. So it's pretty, it's, you can see their imprint in the film because it's purely a, a, an ode, a, a love letter, a, a love letter, if you will, to, again, those classic action movies. So a big glaring negative that I felt about this film was sort of pacing. Sometimes the pacing did go off uh, uh, it, and it didn't sort of blend in as much as I wanted it to. It sort of just had things happen and sort of, you know, things were explained, but it's just in general when you're watching it the pacing does feel a little bit off and you know it does take you away a little bit from the experience that being said i think the biggest issue i had with it was the ending it sort of didn't feel like they tied a bow to it completely it felt like it was sort of um out in the open if you will and uh, it didn't feel like it was it was um completed well i don't it was very it was a very ambiguous ending to, to say the least and um I guess it just didn't it just didn't work for me, you know. So out of everything, I guess those are my two negatives. I can talk and nit nitpick about the story because the story isn't too complicated. Too excuse me, it, the story the story isn't too complicated, but it's enough for you to understand and get into the mode and under and uh, sort of enjoy the action. So I, I I'm not gonna nitpick the story because again, the story isn't meant to be mind-blowing incredible it's just there to serve the action which you know is fine so let's get into the the positive so i think the biggest positive is the gun fu the action mixing in traditional martial arts with this new style that they've started like mixing in it's it's just a beauty to watch i mean to see keanu reeves just judo flipping people and then shooting their heads as soon as they hit the floor it's just 
it's incredible. And then to see him go from one direction to the other direction and start shooting leg, body, head, you know, it's just, it's an incredible, incredible, incredible uh, stunt team that's working on this move, that's worked on this film and made it look so realistic. Again, they're not hiding anything. Everything is shot, you know, for you to see. And that's another positive thing is that, you know, the action sequences are very, 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 you know, fluid. They're not cutting from camera one to camera two to camera three to camera four and, you know, and back and forth and vice versa. It's just, it almost feels like it's just one camera and you're just enjoying the ride. I think the, uh, another another big positive thing was the world. I was so enticed into this world that they, that they brought into the fold with the whole assassins and, you know, Keanu Reeves going to the Continental, a hotel where assassins pretty much reside. I mean, it's it's such a cool concept. It's just such an awesome way to introduce this character. And I kind of wish they went in and delved a little bit deeper. I mean, obviously the movie's not too long and I guess, and that wasn't for sure their main goal was to do that. But, um, you know, that was just, that's just one thing I wanted to see a little bit more, especially, you know, no spoiler, but at the end, you sort of get this idea of sort of how powerful the Continental really is. So overall, John Wick is um, really enjoyable film. I liked it a lot, actually. I, I start enjoyed it more than I expected to enjoy it, um, which is awesome, which is a great thing. Again, like I said, I can nitpick all day about the story. The story is not, you know, it's the story is fine, but if you want to like go back and maybe and talk about like certain things, maybe it like it if you were to compare it to a drama like a or in whatever, it it just the story isn't the same. But this is an action movie that we're talking about, so I don't want to like nitpick all day about the story. I just wanted to focus on the main goal of this film, which was the action, the 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 thrill, and and the 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 star power of Keanu Reeves because. That's really what this what this film sort of shows is how great Keanu Reeves works as an action star because you know he's really shines as this character he almost embodies him you don't see Keanu Reeves when you're watching this movie you just see John Wick so rating I'm gonna do a little bit different I know before in my other reviews if you watch my other reviews previous to this one they're gonna be like five X's. But I feel like that's too limited. It's not enough of uh, what I how I want to rate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go from zero percent or my bad, zero percent to one hundred percent and see see where in between it lies. And uh, John Wick, what I would give it would probably be, I'd say, because because um i did have a problem with the pacing and i did have an issue with how they ended up resolving the film i felt like it could have been resolved a little bit better i just felt like the climax needed to hit harder just a little bit um for that reason alone i'll probably give it a solid seven you know, tip it off the edge to 80 percent out of 100 percent. i think that I, I think this movie is a fun ride i loved i loved loved the action i just wish we could have got a little bit more of that um it seemed convoluted at some points and it, you know again i don't want to nitpick all day but 80 percent. i had a fun time and if you haven't seen john wick i suggest that you do see it especially considering that there is a chapter two out right now and expect me to do a review on that for sure so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like like it be sure to leave a comment if you watch this movie did did you like it the movie did you dislike the movie did you have the same opinion that i had did you rate it higher or lower than i did um i'd like to know comment below and uh yeah be sure to uh, uh, be sure to support this show on patreon i'll put a link in the description of this video and uh just a quickie little little description of it is like you can be a patron and or i think that's what you call them and what you pretty much what you pretty much do is you like supporting to fund the show or or the channel excuse me to grow and be a little bit more more you know just to help make these video processes become a lot easier it, i would greatly appreciate it if you depending on how much you decide to um you know wage or that's not a good term to use let's scratch that depending on how much you want to um you know you know like uh 
depending depending on how much you want to donate per video depends on or it gives you a certain you know reward back so some if you want to be like higher like there's rankings to it so be sure to check that out i don't want to talk all day about it but the link is going to be in the again in the description of this bio be sure to share this video with all your friends that'd be dope and um yeah to the next video